Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to FM303. It feels like it's been a long time and I got karma for going outside a bit more in my life because now we're on lockdown here in the UK. 2020 has been quite an interesting start to the year, right? But it does mean we've now got some time to get back to the channel and get back to some football manager and we've got some interesting stories we can play out now to the end of the season. And the first one right on everyone's lips is can Liverpool win that Premier League title? They are this close to it now in real life. We get a whole season of Football Manager to try and do it our way. Yeah, so the aim of this series is very simple. We have got one season to hit that Premier League title Liverpool want. You can win all the Champions Leagues when you're Liverpool. You can win all the FA Cups and Carabao Cups. They want the Premier League and that is our aim for this season. If we do not win the Premier League this season, the save will end. So no pressure whatsoever. As we quickly look into the club vision of club culture here, we want to play attacking football, sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, develop players using the club's youth system and play entertaining football. And I tell you what, that's entirely the way we're going to run this football club this season. So with that attacking football in mind, let's take you straight into our tactics for this season. And as you can see on screen, I might have utilised this in the Everton save. And it looked promising. So now let's try and do the same thing with better quality in our team. So we're going for a 4-2-4 formation, which looks incredibly crazy. There are no striking options apart from a shadow striker in more of an attacking midfield position. And that is because of how we want to play. If you look at out of possession here now, this shows you how we're going to do things. So our much higher defensive line will push up to the halfway line with our quality centre half, ball playing defenders like Virgil van Dijk, like Joe Gomez, and one we've signed, which I'll take you to shortly. And they will try and use that quality to bring the ball out. And my intention with that is by having in this defensive line much higher is to try and push the game more towards the goal and to create this four that are going to be right on the goal line and then as I take you back out of this that means our inside forwards and inside inverted winger sorry in Salah and Mane will come inside here allowing the wing backs to push forward more, one more attacking on the right hand side than the left I think Alexander Arnold's a great player for Liverpool and I think he's someone we really really want to push in our first team bear in mind as well one of our club visions to utilize a youth in our team so yeah, that is the main plan for it. We've got the box-to-box -box in the middle along with the deep line playmaker. The deep line playmaker over the ball winner so we can spray a few more passes forward. We still want to play and distribute quite quickly in counter. Play a very, very intense, extremely high tempo. Standard passing I've gone for. I like how I might go slightly more direct and into space. So I think we have got a bit of pace. We'll see how that goes. And that is really how we're going to line up this season. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. My ambition is to really end up with six players in this attack unit here which means four in the middle you normally can end up with three if you go for like the one up top and the inside forward and the inverted winger on the other side and the full backs coming up but not with this I want to go for six and then I want to have these guys being able to come forward as well and contribute we're looking for added value in this Liverpool team Right, the other place in the tactics I've made a big, big change is on our set pieces and on our corners in particular. On the right-hand side and the left-hand side, I've got two separate options set up. On the right-hand side, we're going to be looking for edge of the area um, corners, not popping it into the box, trying to play it out here, trying to pull the defence out and see if we can create a more interesting goal-scoring opportunity. On the left-hand side, we're going to go for a short option, so every time it's going to be laid off short where possible, and we're going to see what this can do. I think that then drags these guys forward and allows the cross to be played into more exposed penalty area. So so we're going to try and make use of our set pieces in this season as well. That's going to be a real, real big focus for us. The good thing about having a football manager save as well is we get to go back to the start of the season and make a few transfer tweaks that we'd like to do. And the first one that I have done has been a departure from Liverpool. And that has been Dejan Lovren has moved to Guangzhou in China. I cannot pronounce that in the slightest. And I do apologise to any of my Chinese friends watching. But as you can see here, he's got decent stats on football manager. But I just don't think for his age and for what his stats say, his performance levels are up too much really. His scouting summary since he's left has put him um, at 6. So not very good at all, really. So I'm quite glad to have moved him on. I think we've got 18.5, 18.25 million for him. So that's a pretty good start to move Dejan on. And I think we've managed to get an upgrade. And let me show you who we've got in as the upgrade next. 
So he went straight out and spent, I think it was 35 million on Manuel Akanj from Borussia Dortmund. Swiss, 24-year-old player, ball-playing defender, got all the physicals you could want, the pace and acceleration are there, like Virgil van Dijk, which really will help our system we're trying to do with the more advanced centre-halves, because they're quick, they can come back, they've got the pace to be able to utilise more of the space, so we're going to go with that. The marking and tackling are excellent as well, as we can see, and the rest of his technicals and mentals are still in a very good position, and he's still in 24, so there's still a slight chance he might even get better. I think he is going to be a hell of a signing for us, and a great upgrade on Dejan Lovren. Now, with this series being a finisher job series, I didn't want to go too mad on transfers, really, because technically I've gained an extra transfer winner than Jurgen Klopp ever had. However, saying that, it is very tempting to go and spend £60 million. And bear in mind, I did move on a couple of players. I also moved on, by the way, quickly, Adam Lallana. Um, he was the only other real departure for us. He has gone to the same club, Gangzo, as um, his teammate, Adrian Lovren. Only rated 44 since he left, as you can see here. We managed to get, I believe, about £20 million again. £25.5 million. So, really, to get 45 million-ish out of, you know, Wang Zhu for um, a couple of really average players for us, um, I think is fantastic. And so with that, it's left us with a pretty solid team, but I have gone out, like I say, and I have made a couple of the signings. So let me take you to the big one. I was looking for a shadow striker, and I went for Diego Yotta from Wolves. He cost us 40 million, which is not too bad. So he has come in, Diego Otto from Wolves. He's got great stats, a determination and flair off the ball. All the things I really wanted in that shadow striker role, especially when you've got Mane and um, Salah coming in, because his off the ball will keep him in the position where he'll have a bit of space. He's got the finishing and the dribbling and the first touch. I think he's got everything. He's only 22. He is going to be a big, big signing for us. and probably be the biggest signing I'll make at this football club for a few seasons if we survive the first season. In line with the club vision as well, I've also promoted some guys from the youth team. Um, our third choice goalkeeper isn't Andy Longan anymore. He's been moved on. It's Kai McKenzie Lyle. I loved his aerial reach. I was like, let's get the tall guy from the reserves as our third choice keeper. He's 21 years old. Uh, he's out of contract at the end of the season. I don't think there'll be much going on beyond that, but he is one of our young players, so let's get him in. Backup right back has now been changed. That's Nico Williams, the youngster, 18 years old. As you can see, he's been training with the first team since the start of the save, and already his stats are starting to improve dramatically. So that is a fantastic fantastic start he's been out on loan no he hasn't been anywhere yet he's been in our youth team but I think he'll do well you know as a backup right back option for Trent and I think the thing I like about him is his crossing's great and his acceleration and pace are pretty good and his flair so I think that really is in the Trent Alexander-Arnold uh, mould and I think that is what we need really to push on with our backup option so when you've got it in your own team use the youth and that is literally what one of our visions were and saying that we also played Adam Lewis up as well not as good as you can see is he really Liverpool standard it wants star rated player possibly not but saying that he's on a pretty long term deal to 2023 another four years I quite like him I think he's got enough about him a bit of exposure to the first team and playing with Andrew Robertson I think he will improve and I think he will become that backup left back we need let's also try and get in some games in the Carling Cup as well so I can have a cup I'll always call it the Carling Cup other people might call it the Coca-Cola Cup it's all sponsorship anyway isn't it right Interestingly enough as well, the one thing I have done, I recalled Herbie Kane on this loan. Um, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while now, you will know Herbie Kane and I have quite a history. In fact, I would say Herbie Kane is probably my favourite player in Football Manager 2019 history, the whole lot. Because in my Blackpool save, he was utterly supreme. He would score probably the second most amount of goals in my entire team, if not the first. And he was really only a central midfield option. So I've recalled him from his loan spell. I think he was away at Hull. He was indeed, so quickly get back into Herbie Kane here. I think all these stats here at 20 years old, I think he's ready to go now. I think a bit of first team exposure, a couple of games, and I think we're going to see these starting to rocket up. And really, we've got to think long term about what we're going to do about Jordan Henderson. He's 29 now, decent age, but we can get Herbie Kane to this, I think, and in that time, he'll be about 32, 33. So using the youth there to try and cover off future, um, you know, aging out or whatever is going to be really good for us as well. Minamino's also in as we know from the transfer update but really that's all I've done to the first team with Akanji coming in. The rest of it as we go to the team report and look at our depth is very similar. So I think we've got enough depth now because we've got at least two for each position. I will say one thing about this which I don't like about the team report. I can't add all the players. <laughs> There is a couple more players who I can't actually add on this who I know I've got in the squad. So we have got one or two more options in the middle and the attacking mid positions in particular. But I think this gives us a decent start. I'm not too concerned about our backup options being so low starred because I think they're better than that and you've got to back yourself as a manager. 
Right, one final pit stop, and I think it's time to get to some match action here for Liverpool. And let's have a quick look at the schedule here. And as you can see, our first game will be the Community Shield at Wembley against Manchester City. So we'll get to that very shortly. But look at the Premier League first game. We are home to Manchester United for our first game of the season, and that'll be in the next episode. And that is going to be a fantastic one as well. European Super Cup as well. We could have two trophies in the case of two weeks here to start our campaign. But like I say, it could all be irrelevant. We don't need these trophies. We need that Premier League title. The pressure is all on that. So that is going to be exciting. Then we've got Arsenal and Wolves. So we've got a really difficult start. Man City just around the corner. The, um, the local derby with Everton. It's going to be a very interesting start to our season. And also, going back to the transfers quickly, I do have one more transfer in. So maybe that will be confirmed before the Man City game. And if he does sign, he could be the game changer. So we'll see on that one. But let's get to Man City and get to some football action. I know you've all been missing the real life stuff at home. Right, so here we go for the first game of the season and potentially our first trophy. I'd love to sweep them all up as well as the Premier League. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? But anyway, we're at Wembley today. We have got our 4-2-4, our team versus Manchester City in the Community Shield. Adrian in goal. We've got goalkeeper issues. We've got Alisson with that injury that's laying him off for about another two months, another month or so. Um, we've also got every other goalkeeper injured. So on the bench is Ben Winterbottom, um, a young 18-year-old. So let's hope we don't get an injury to Adrian, or is that going to be quite interesting for him. He's our fifth choice goalkeeper. Everyone else has got knocks, so there we go. Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk, Akanj, Robertson, Henderson and Keita, Salah, Diego Yotta, Firmino and Shakiri on the left today. Mane is still on holiday and so consequently he will not feature. On the bench as well, Divock Origi, Herbie Kane's on the bench as well. If we're off to a good start, we wouldn't mind getting them into that box-to-box -box role to get in some exposure. Looking at the Man City team for today, they've got Claudio Bravo, Edison is given a rest, which is good news for us. Cancelo, Stones, Lapp Port, Zinchenko at left back, Rodri, Silva, and Fernandino, and they've got Gabriel Jesus, Sterling, and Aguero. Quite an attacking free there. On the bench as well, youngster Rogers, who's very, very good, Morgan Rogers, Phil Foden, and Gundawan. Not a lot of creativity on the bench, which is quite good news for me. So we're going to head to the dressing room now and see how we get on. Right, first team talk of the season. Let's get to this. I think we deserve to win the trophy, and I expect you guys to win it. That didn't go too well, but we still have the faith. The bit that George Michael is back on FM3 or 3, ladies and gentlemen. Shakiri was inspired. Henderson was inspired by that. We're going to end the team talk and head to the tunnel and see what they want to say. I'm about to take charge of my first match as Liverpool manager. Yeah, special day. Can't wait to get started in this. Um, yeah, Shakiri is very versatile, but I haven't got anyone else in that position today. That's why he's playing, and I haven't signed the other option. Just a little hint for the next episode, he might be about to sign, so that could be quite good. Um, I think he's good to go. He hasn't got a lot of match fitness, but that is my reason for playing him, to try and build that up, and if we have to take him off, we have to take him off. I certainly trust Jago Jota, and we're going to get this game underway here now. We interrupt this broadcast for a message from Future Tom. Right, you can probably tell from the first few minutes of that 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 does not sound particularly brilliant with the sound effects. So, unfortunately, especially at the time of this world uh, problem virus thing that's going around at the minute, which is shut down sporting events, it looks like my sound on my computer has done the same to me. So I apologise, we're going to have no fans uh, sound for this game. I'm re-recording the sound for the whole match because, basically, it sounded terrible and it was ear splitting so anyway apologies my voice now will not match up to my face but at least i could poke fun at myself from the future so let's get back to the action so here we go with the re-recording anyway shakiri now plays it in towards nabi kaita plays a shot away bravo there with a good save very weird how my face is going to probably be different. I can't remember if the webcam's on top or not. I think I'm re-recording this, actually. Gives me the technical issues I had to go through in the first half of this season because of sound. Anyway, Shakiri now with a set piece here in the first seven minutes. Virgil van Dijk with the header. First goal of the season here for Liverpool. Great stuff here from the best centre-half in the world. I've said he's the best. They're going to head to the 3D and see how this one unfolds here. What a set piece here. Shakiri on the left with his left foot. Plays the ball and it's dipping. It's difficult. Virgil rises in a crowd of Man City players. Loops it past Cla uh, Bravo in the goal and great stuff here we're looking like we're going to do really well here at the start of the season this attacking formation is looking wonderful look at the shots look how many are on target look at the possession here it is all Liverpool as we start this one can we win every trophy this year I shouldn't get too confident really should I but you never know we we'll play that well anyway now I've said that here come Manchester City here Cancelo coming inside plays it back to Fernandino uh, Fernandino Rodri plays it up now Raheem Sterling against his former club comes inside he's dangerous he's gone 
shot around Van Dijk. Luckily for us, doesn't get it on target. Luckily for us, Alisson does. Sorry, Adrian doesn't have to make the save. The two A goalkeepers, unfortunately, of course, Alisson's out for another like what two months which is really really difficult to start the season anyway Robertson on the left now can we get a second goal here and really stab our authority he mugs Gabriel Jesus there and plays it across Stones with a clearing header and Sterling now can come away from Manchester City here on the half hour mark comes over the halfway line luckily for Salah picks the ball up here now Henderson down to Naby Keita good ball through to Diego Yotta on his debut what a goal 2-0 here to Liverpool at Wembley on the half an hour mark on his debut start for the club Diego Yotta, a £40 million signing from Wolves what a bit of football here Naby Keita just saw the run he was making look at the run past two Manchester City defenders broke that offside trap broke Claudio Bravo's hip possibly because he went for the dive save didn't get anywhere near it did he good stuff here Liverpool 2 Man City nil. one hand on the community shield as we approach half time Naby Keita goes in the book here that's nothing really for us to worry about maybe famous last words of what's coming in the further episodes that's why it's weird about filming us in the future and coming back to it Cancelo flicks ahead on there um, uh, gets flicks ahead on, flicks a ball on there as the ball comes back in here for Liverpool. Can we make it free? Naby Keita gets a shot away, not on target this time. Um, but anyway, uh, he's also look at this. First half has been all Liverpool. Look at those stats: shots eight, three on target. A little bit less possession, but that doesn't possession doesn't really matter. It's what you do with it. Zinchenko now have a free kick, and Adrian does well there to get a hand to it. I don't think it was dipping in, but I think he probably just has to cover it off just to be safe here. We want to try and keep the clean sheet before half time. As Silva plays the corner in, Aguero's lurking outside the area now. Can he find a teammate? Plays it back to Zinchenko on the halfway line. The danger looks like it's died out there. Good stuff. Good pressing from Liverpool. High intensity football. That's how we're going to do it this year. Half time. Liverpool 2. Manchester City 0. And we're going to have a look here. So half time here. And I'm just making a quick change which is to cover off the yellow card. Naby Keita comes off here. He missed that chance. I thought right let's give Fabinho a go here. Second half underway here. 2-0 up against Manchester City. Pretty dominant against one of our we're in theory closest rivals for the league title this year so this is really good corner came in now Firmino with a good chance Shakiri picks it up on the left here there was an offside in there but once again one minute into the second half looking like we're going to take the intent to Manchester City here and really try and keep them under pressure Akanj coming so far up the pitch there look our centre halves are in their half Adrian's halfway out of his area and that is a danger obviously of Adrian but anyway Alexander Arnold on the right now coming down can he play inside the salary can Salah to Diego Yotta his second goal here on 47 minutes Liverpool running riot here at Wembley. It's Liverpool 3, Manchester City 0. His second goal of the campaign. We head to the 3D here. Alexander-Arnold now comes down that right-hand side. Plays it up to Mo Salah here. Look, what a Rabona. He did a Rabona. Can you see that? Look at it. The little back heel pass. No wonder Diego Yotta had so much time and space just to kick it past Claudio Bravo. I bet Pep's really thinking I made a mistake putting Bravo in today when I could have had Edison because Edison is a bit quicker than Bravo now days. Silva with the strike away. It wasn't powerful, but it nearly caught the goalkeeper out. Nearly went in the far left. Man City have got danger. Let's not forget it. I do say it a lot in these football manager saves. Zinchenko now the free kick. Adrian once again with a hand on it. Zinchenko's getting closer. That's two now he's knocked on the door with. The third one, we might not be so lucky. Corner now to Man City. The pressure's building. John Stones with the header over the crossbar. Liverpool still lead by three goals to nil. Our clean sheet is still intact here. Cancelo now comes down with Cunanguero and tries to link up. Silva plays it down. Zinchenko on the left doing a lot of work for Man City today. Finds Gabriel Jesus. He gets the strike away. Adrian with a good block save there. Having not a bad game here, Adrian. Still keeping that clean sheet. A lot of pressure on his shoulders in the circumstances. Corner in now. Gabriel Jesus hasn't got the beating of Shakiri here. Aguero is on the outside looking to mop up again and we just hoof it clear there towards their goalkeeper. Zinchenko now can maybe build something from the back for Man City again. Very fascinating game of football. There's lots of highlights. Lots of opportunities opportunities. Got to say we've taken ours. Our goalkeeper's played pretty well. On average our player's been better. We're going to make a change here. Look, I imagine it's going to be Firmino off here for Oxley chamberlain if I remember correctly. Obviously we're in the future now, so I've got to remember what I did back then. Pretty sure that was right. Yeah, this just made that little change. I wanted to bring on a more physical presence up there to support Diego Yotto in his seeking of a hat-trick on his debut. Anyway, 20 minutes to go here now. All Liverpool. Mohamed Salah on the right linking up Alexander-Arnold really well. Space here behind for Henderson. Diego Yotto lays it off to Fabinho they're passing it around here trying to find the space Rodri makes a great block corner low to the Liverpool here as Oxley chamberlain nearly scores short option available do we take it no we don't Alexander-Arnold plays it in and Claudio Bravo there with a really good save 
Phil Foden's come on here for Man City as well. That will re hopefully give them a little bit more going forward in Pep size. Hopefully not for us. Henderson now, Diego Yotta's getting close to that hat-trick, isn't he? He's got 15 minutes to find it here. Didn't get that one on target. We just tried to flick it in that far corner past Claudio Bravo. Knows he's not the most athletic, you see. Intelligent footballer. Makes a massive difference. Herbie Kane comes on for his first team debut for me. Replacing Jordan Henderson here with 10 minutes to go. Three goals to the good. Nice opportunity to get him some first team exposure here. Fabino now is the furthest guy back but plays a nice ball forward. Claudio Bravo was quicker than Salah on that occasion but still I like the fact it was direct and just trying to cut the middle man out. Trying to get the opportunity. Daniel Yotta up Shakiri now. Can we still get a fourth goal here with 10 minutes to go? Can we absolutely batter them and Yotta there with a the strike. Bravo with a good save. He's going to be denied this hat trick at this rate. Oh my word. Diego Yotta there again is the guy trying to get on the end of it. He is trying to make his mark here in his Liverpool debut. He is trying to set down a mark and going. It's been about Mane. It's been about Salah. It's been about Firmino. Not anymore. It's all about Diego Yotta. Alexander Arnold on the right now trying to get the ball across. Rodri the crunching tackle. Oxley Chamberlain can't win the header with Silva as Man City are now on the back foot here. It goes in waves this game. Man City have a few chances and then we absolutely pen them back and start winning the ball back. Good ball to Sterling though. He's the outlet. Silva coming forward forward here. He is in the book as well. They haven't got too many options luckily. We are closing them down so, so well here. Gundogan up to Cancelo here. Down to Foden who's going to get a strike away. Luckily blocked well there by Oxley chamberlain coming back. Zinchenko there wins the ball. Is it going to be a goal kick? It is. Zinchenko is playing with real intensity as it's on screen. I've seen that. He probably has been the standout man. Demand some more here. Just trying to keep the clean sheet just towards the end of the game. Keep the pressure off. Adrian wins the ball there. Comes and claims it with authority. Good stuff. And feeds Salah really well. Can he find Diego Yotta who really wants that hat trick. He's in the middle there, he finds him. He's got to score Bravo with the save. So close to getting his debut hat trick. Oh, we might be the next game. Diego, you've played really well in this one, son. Man City clear the, uh, uh, the following corner. And here comes Gundogan of the halfway line. There is chance here. We might get caught. Shakiri's gone in. I think that's going to be a yellow card. It is a yellow. We're lucky. It looked like it could have been worse, actually. He really hacked him down here. There'll be a set piece now for Man City to finish this game off. Silva to play it in. Can he find someone? He finds Roger in the port there. Gets a foot or head to it. He breaks the offside trap. His first goal of the season. The centre half gets on the score sheet. We're going to go to the 3D and see how this unfolded here. Silva played it down. Roger with the save. Oh, yeah. The port just went for a little flick over the goalkeeper. Made sure he got a touch to it. Made sure the goalkeeper had no chance. Liverpool 3. Man City 1. I don't think it's going to be enough, though, as we go through the added on time here. Liverpool 3, Manchester City 1. This will be the full-time whistle. It will be our first trophy of the season. Liverpool is painting Wembley red today. And once again, there's another trophy in the trophy cabinet. What a job we've done here. At this point on screen, you normally see the 3D celebrations. We're in 2D, so we just see the sound of, well, silence. But well done to this. What a result that was. Liverpool Anyway, guys, we'll end the first episode there as so I'm about to go to the post-match press conference. But I will just say to you all, thank you very much for coming back. And I'm looking forward to this series getting underway. Great start. Next episode, we've got Manchester United. So that'll be a good way to start our Premier League season. And hopefully I'll be able to confirm the signing of a world-class winger. Bear in mind we had Shaqiri in that last game on the left. I wouldn't mind having another option out there. He's great, but we could do with a bit more world-class quality with all the games we've got this season. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Com finish the job. I need to complete the job, Then I don't even know the title of the series. Finish the job here with Liverpool Football Manager 2020. I've been your host, the one and only Tom Smith, here on FM 303. We will see you tomorrow for some more Liverpool action. Cheers now. Goodbye.